thanks for joining us. Obviously, no game at the weekend there, uh, so probably a wee bit frustrating because it looked like it was going to be on, and then uh, quite late on, it was called off. And it's uh, a lot of time to digest that defeat against Alo. How's training been in the intervening period? No, it's been decent. As I say, the, the disappointment was the, the other results rounds about us. Um, if we'd won against Alo, we would have been right in amongst the playoff positions, but it wasn't to be. Um, we created enough chances to win a game of football, and we, we've managed to work on a few things in regards to, you know, it's two bad goals we lost on the day. In terms of what we're doing this weekend, it's a wee change. It's the Scottish Cup. Um, last season, one of your first games was in the Scottish Cup. I don't want to remind you of it too much, but you'll obviously be hoping for a, a much better cup run this season because it's important to the club, isn't it? No, it's a, obviously a cup run for a club like ourselves. It, it gets an excitement about the place. Um, both myself and Jason went down and watched Stranraer's game against the Airdrie on Saturday. Um, you know, and it is going to be a difficult game. We've got to make sure we're focused and prepared right, but the boys have worked hard this week and it's a game that we're looking forward to. They've got some experienced players, they've been a wee bit up and down in League One this season and uh, they're obviously playing Airdrie, Callum Smith was playing for Airdrie. Yeah. Any update on, on Callum, how was he looking? No, I think we're coming away from the game and Airdrie are sitting top of the league now and Callum's played every or started every game for them and he's doing well, he's been a couple of times over the last couple of weeks and he's enjoying his football. Um, as I say, Stranraer, we can't focus on that they're sitting at the bottom of the league, it's dangerous to think that we can go down there and just turn them over, but um, we'll very, very much focus on ourselves, we're, we're going to go down there with a game plan, um, it's not going to be easy, the conditions that we play in, but one that we fully expect to qualify and go to the next stages. You know yourself, you've played in a cup final for Dunfermline and it's the Scottish Cup, there's something special about it and for this club as well, so to make progress and you know try and get as far as we can is obviously the aim, but it's it's, it's always somehow we were special in the Scottish Cup, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it can be that moment that you know gives you, you never know who you're going to get in the next round and you don't want to be the one that slips up and you have that banana skin moment and as I say, we, we know what it means to the club, we know what it means to the fans um, and it gives you a feel good factor so we'll go in, we have, yes there is a bit of pressure on us at the weekend but um, I, I'm fully focused on the job in hand that I've got but I, I think the players are, are fully focused and, and they know it's going to be a tough one to get through. It's going to be a busy period and the run up to Christmas, we'll have three games in, in just a couple of weeks obviously with their United game getting rearranged, the part like this a lot next in the league, it's a chance to get in amongst those playoffs and, and, and put that Alloa defeat behind us because before that we were on a, a pretty decent running form. No, you're right and the games are going to come thick and fast. Um, Partick, I've had that wee period when McCall's come into the job and they got a couple of results. They've also been on the back end of a few negative results so that'll be a tough one for us. But um, you know, it's ones that we'll look forward to. I mentioned Christmas, we're coming up to this time of year and the weather's been playing a wee bit havoc with the uh, training I believe over the past wee while, is that just something that we need to get used to and we need to deal with I suppose? Ah, it's, it's Scotland for you as well isn't it? Um, it was a challenge the last couple of mornings to make sure we had a training facility because obviously we train up at Kelty on the Astro Turf and it has been minus the last couple of nights so um, we, we just had to put training back today a, a couple of hours to to get a decent um, training session under our belt. Obviously with the gap as well, has it gave you the chance to get a couple of players who were maybe carrying me knocks and injuries and uh, maybe a few of the long term guys as well back into the squad? Yeah, I think um, Tom Lang's now back training with us. He, he's going to need a game in a reserve fixture or possibly an hour week or so you know, to get uh, proper training under his belt to see where he's at. Um, the only other one at the moment is you and Murray will get scanned tomorrow. Um, all going well with that, he'll see the specialist the following week. In terms of Joe Thompson as well, I know he's played a couple of reserve games now as well and he will be. And he was on the bench for the for the previous uh, first team game as well and I'm guessing he'll be pushing for a, a starting place. Yes, yeah, and I've said that, it's, that's what will allow us to go on and kick on as a club that if the boys that aren't playing or boys that are being on the bench and they're putting pressure on the starting eleven um, because players know, players know when there's genuine competition for play season and Joe very much comes into that category. And finally, I think I'm right in saying Lee Ashcroft will be suspended for the match on Saturday so that requires a wee bit of shifting around at the back. Um, are, you, are you going to change much of the team or it will be as strong a team as possible, I'm guessing? No, we've got... It's going to be a, a hard enough game, as I say, in our, our mindset. Is, that's going to be the thing 
if we don't go down there with the right frame of mind, we're going to make it a long afternoon for ourselves. But um, obviously Ashi misses out through suspension and it creates an opportunity for somebody, whether there's more changes after Allo defeat, then that'll be something we'll discuss as a coaching staff.